Hey squad, I'm recording for you a mobility and stability series. Some of you have seen this before, but it is going to be showing back up on March calendars for you to use for your home personal training. So this is one of the workouts that you need to do in order to keep working out. All right. So when this shows up on your schedule, don't skip it. The focus of this is your hip complex mobility and stability. All right. I'm talking about low back pain. I'm talking about hip pain. I'm talking about stabilizing the core. All right, let's get going. So I'll go through the whole thing with you so you can follow along with this anytime it shows up for you. We're gonna start in tabletop position here, nice and flat. Knees right underneath hips. And we're gonna do knee circles. We're gonna do an internal rotation and an external rotation. So let me start with the left. and start with that internal knee rotation. So I'm just lifting up enough to make a little circle. It's actually more of an oval out. I don't want you to think about lifting high. I want you to think about keeping your circle, alrighty? Keeping your circle. And then switch to external rotation. So this is counterclockwise. <laughs> Y'all that have worked with me in classes know that I don't do well when I with clockwise and counterclockwise. So keep it still here, okay? The only thing that's moving is this knee from the hip, knee from the hip. You ready? Switch inside. So internal rotation first. Ugh. You just have to ignore the hand. <sighs> internal rotation first. Try and keep your palms underneath your shoulders. And pay attention to this core right here. Ready? external rotation. Take it out. Keep it still everywhere except here. Three, two, and one, good job. All right, alternate your bird dog, okay? So it's a reach, Ooh, let me turn around the other way. Reach, down, reach, and down. Also, make a note if you need to, that bird dog is the modification for Superman. Can also be a modification for push ups. So these are things that you know you'll learn as we work together as we go along when you need to make your workout work for you at home. Alrighty, we're gonna lay it down on the side. We're gonna do clam openers, all right? Really focusing in on these hips. These hips don't lie like Q Shakira for me. Somebody, anybody? It's just an open and a close, all right? And so as opposed to the isolating that we would be doing if I, if I was having you do this for a class. I want you to think about range right here. Okay, range. We're working more on the hip. Now if you notice, I just had to adjust my bottom knee I wasn't getting the range that I was looking for. 
All right, switch sides. Pull it in. Now right here, you should immediately be able to tell which hip is your strong hip. I use bunny fingers because there's really no such thing as a strong or weak side. It's just, it needs love. <laughs> So I've got more range of motion on my left side. That tells me I need to work on my hip openers and strengtheners on my right side. Oop it up, close it down. One more time. All right, on your back. We're gonna take that leg over into just a little spine rotation stretch, IT band stretch. And then take it over the other way. Cool. Bring those legs up. This is the one that we struggle with sometimes to get the which way we're moving. So I've got my legs folded out cheerleader style or pretzel style. You're gonna push your hips up, squeeze it down. And it, I just did that and I got two pops on both sides. Take it up, take it down. One more time right here. So that's three up and down. And then check this out, fold it. And fold it. Your feet stay still. Your feet stay still. Fold it. And I'm gonna keep going, because I know that if you're doing this with me, you're trying to figure out how to keep your feet down and fold your legs over. <laughs> All right, now we're on the opposite side with that up and down at the hip, up and down. Push forward, extend, pull it down. Push forward. Pull it down. One more time up. And then we're gonna do the slips again. You get two chances to get it right. Flip. And flip. Does it help if I move my arms? No? <laughs> One more time. Perfect, okay. We need our wall, or wherever you are at home with a wall, for support for these next couple exercises. So we're gonna do reverse clam openers on our backs. Knees at 90 degrees, ankle 90, hip 90. And we're gonna lift and lower. So try and make that movement happen from the hip. And so you're like dragging the foot, like the foot is just secondary. If you try and lean with the foot, you're not gonna get that range. All right, other side, down and up. And try and keep your hips squared up when you open. One more, perfect. Now go ahead and take that leg that you were just doing, cross an ankle on top, using your wall, you're gonna push that opposite knee. So this is a supported triangle stretch. This is the one that you all love for me to assist you with. <laughs> Other side. All right, check this out. We're gonna do, so my knees are still gonna be bent here. I want you to roll your shoulders down into the floor. Push your pelvis up and then pull everything down tight. So 
So what are we doing right here? We're forward flexing. I want you to learn how that forward flex feels and then how that pull feels. All right, push it up. Pull. So this is tiny. Let me, here, it's tiny. You gotta be able to see, push, pull your belly button in. So this is what I mean. Anytime I tell you to brace through your core, pull your belly button into your back, contract your abs, you guys, and to maintain a neutral spine. All of those cues, that's what this is right here. So by practicing this, you're teaching your muscles how to move in this way. Good. Give me one more. And then up on the elbows for pelvic tilt. So still bend the knees. And this is essentially the same thing. We're just making it larger with that push forward, pull in. So I want you to push it forward, check out my belly, and pull it around as much as you can, okay? Push and pull. And often when I'm using this in class, I'm telling you to zip up from your knees to your rib cage, pull. And mental note, phone note, however you're gonna make a note. Hey Siri, make a note. Hey Alexa, make a note. <laughs> Pelvic tilt is your modification for curl. All right, hold that in. Nice job. All right, team, I hope this is helpful for you. If you have questions when you watch this, shoot it to me and we'll work it out together. Bye.